you know, I, I will confess as a career musician, someone who loves it dearly, early on in the pandemic, I did ask myself, is there a place for this? Do we actually as a society, when there are so many problems, is this important enough to, to pursue? Or, you know, do we need to fix all the other things? And this is just so um, hobby compared to everything else. And then I came to realize, actually, it's maybe the most important that we have something like this. You know, it doesn't have to be um, music. It can be other forms of art, but things that take people to a place of beauty because we're confronted right now everywhere with all kinds of distressing things um, in the in the world news in, in politics and public health and you know just all these very basic things we have so much trouble going on right now and music art writing literature all these things um i don't want to use the word escape i i, I think it's nourishment for the soul in a way that we can't find other ways and what i saw at some of these drive-in concerts with mainly mozart in san diego is that people were weeping and before the pandemic if you said do you want to go to a drive-in concert or do you want to play a drive-in concert i, I think people would say no way <laughs> but perspective context they change and in these times being able to go to any live concert i i think the emotion hit people very strongly so i i think that even though we've been doing live music for some time now it's not going to be the first time for most people and yet i think it's not happening so regularly we're not so much in normalcy just quite yet that it's still going to hit people pretty strongly and i I just urge people to really open themselves to it. Don't don't try to resist the power, but really appreciate the moment. To anyone who's watching this, I invite you to this concert on 9-11 and truly hope that you can join us because it's going to be powerful and moving on so many levels. It's going to commemorate 9-11. It's going to offer music which speaks to the soul at a time when, again, we all need healing as um, a community, as a nation, as a world. And also we have some wonderful soloists, soprano Gabriela Reyes, and of course, legendary saxophonist Branford Marsalis. So I hope you'll be there.